Cat Simp TV. Hey everybody, Cat Simp TV, and today we are looking at Arteria Pigments 2.0. This video looks exclusively at the new features, so if you have not yet seen our original demo of pigments, please check that out first. And if you have not done so already, please do subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer demos and other content coming out regularly. Undoubtedly, the biggest change for 2.0 is the addition of the sample engine alongside the existing analog modeling and wavetable engines. The engine has its own sub-functions for ring and frequency modulation. You can have up to six samples per engine using each of these six slots. Choose one of the slots and then select a sample from the browser. Let's add another to slot C. And then we'll add one more to slot D. Now there are several modes for sample playback that you can get to via the map pane. The simplest is single, in which you select individual sounds. Samples can be automated in a variety of ways, including key maps and sample pick. We can attach the sample pick dial to any of the modulators, such as LFO3. There is also the round robin map, which hits each sample in sequence. The sample engine also contains a powerful granular synthesizer. This can be used to break up a sample into numerous grains that are then scattered and played simultaneously. Let's look at the granular synthesizer in more detail now. First, we'll bring up a sound with a lot of timbral and rhythmic changes. The granular synthesizer has quite a few parameters for controlling the grains themselves, as well as when and how they are played. Let's start with the shape control. We can also control the size of the grains. Changing the start time variance allows us to get grains from different parts of the sample at the same time. We can also vary the playback pitch of the grains for even more variety. Of course, all these parameters are modulation targets. Let's use the mod wheel to change the grain size. Okay, let's use one of the function generators to change the sample grain start time, and we'll use an LFO to vary the pitch variance.
As you can hear, we have created a lot of sonic variety with just a single sample. You can also import your own samples into the Sample and Granular engine. Let's take that usual SamSam recording that we often use. And let's set up this ramp function generator to sweep through the sound. We will then add some start variance to the grains. Of course, we can combine different engines together in the same voice. Let's start with another sample. Okay, let's go to engine two now. I'm going to make that into an analog model. Let's turn up all three oscillators and let's put it in super mode. I like this sound. Let's automate the filter sweep with an LFO. Another addition to Pigments 2.0 is a Buchla style low pass gate. Let's start again with the analog modeling engine. We select low pass gate from the filter menu. As with most low pass gates, it has a single control. We can set it to act as just a VCA. or just as a VCF. Although it's really most powerful when we do both together. As we demonstrated last week, low-pass gates work particularly well with envelopes, especially envelopes that have a fast decay time. Fast Decay has a very percussive sound. Changing the Vactrol speed alters the timbre of the filter. Another new feature is the tape echo effect. Let's start with a staccato preset. Now we go to the effects pane and add the tape echo to bus one.
It's a lot of fun to modify the time as you play. Let's add mod wheel control to the time parameter. Okay, for the remainder of this video, we're just going to browse and explore some of the presets that come new in Pigments 2.0. To find out more about Arturia pigments, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.